Let's address the elephant in the room. This custom welding cart I modified a couple of years ago. It has worked well, but it has some problems. Firstly, it's way too heavy. Even unloaded, it's hard to move around. And considering that this is where all my metal working tools live, including angle grinders, this is way too heavy to be functional. Secondly, there isn't that much leg room when you want to sit down to do delicate work. And that's really what this bench is for. So that's the design spec. Let's see what I come up with. We can watch the video together. Here, I have it on my phone. It all started with me finding these old kitchen tops at the recycling station, and I thought these are too good to pass up. I'll probably find a use for it, and if I don't, well, it's good raw materials, and steel isn't cheap. So I put them in the car and took them home. But they needed a cleanup. Boy, they were messy. I had to use degreaser and dishwasher liquid, and yeah. It was a big job, but I got them clean enough eventually. And now we skip back in time, because as you see I'm wearing a jacket, it's winter time. But this is me cutting particle boards for the work cable extension, as well as the rose cage building platform. So now we're back in normal times, and I think you realize that I had these kitchen tops laying in my workshop for about half a year before I actually did something with them. Yeah, that's mostly how it was done. Just needed some persuasion to go together, but when I put them in the super jaws, they cut up a bit in the middle, so I thought better just hold them down with some screws. But boy, was that stainless steel hard to drill. I think I broke at least three drill bits just drilling those six holes. At this point, I noticed that there were a millimeter gap at the end, so I filled it with these small plastic edges. It would probably fall out, but at least it's something. The sides of the metal also came down a bit below the particle board. So that's why I made these feet, to both make a distance if you want to put it down on a flat surface, and also act as guides when you put it on the super jaws, because you don't want it falling off. And it felt right to use dowels and glue, and not try to drill something to the particle board. That, that would just end in misery. And I also needed some spacers, so then I went to the table saw, and as you can see, I'm not the best at table sawing, but hopefully I'll get there someday. But that day was not this day. So these strips are to make sure that the tabletop is resting on the particle board and not the metal when it's on the super jaws, so we don't get any weird stress in the tabletop. And to make sure that the feet felt like feet, I put on some felt feet on them. Feet, 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 feet. And here you see, Easy to put down, easy to pick up. But what would a welding station be without some welding? So here I'm cutting up some square tube. I really like this shot from the side. It's almost pornographic with the sparks flowing. Uh, let's move on. These square tubes are to make a rest so that the tabletop doesn't risk falling over if I load it unevenly. Because the super jaws have these square holes in the side where this tube fit perfectly. Yeah, I'm not the best welder but I guess it's good enough. And with a welding station, hopefully I will improve on my welding skills. At least that's what I tell myself. I just accidentally had these caps laying around, so they fit perfectly, and it makes it look really professional, I think. But sadly, I cut the metal too short, so I had to add some more felt feet just to get it to the right height. Oh well. But here you see, Nice and sturdy. Now we're back to some woodworking again. And I understand if you don't really get what this is about. And I don't really know how to explain it either rather than show it. So yeah, I probably should have cut this a bit shorter. But here we are. And uh, let the glue dry. And yeah, well, let's put in some screws because this is supposed to take some weight. And um, yeah. As I said, if you just trust me and wait and see, I think you will you will see where we're going with this. Almost ready now. Oh yeah, some sanding of course, because you don't want any splinters and you want the lacquer to stick on as well, because this is a welding station and it's gonna be messy. And these hooks on the side, we'll come back to those in a minute, because here you can see what it's for. The super jaws have a mouth that is a bit too wide to hold the tabletop in this orientation, so it needs something to fill the gap. 
so why not use that for some extra storage? And speaking of storage, here's my welding rod holders that I made in DIYH by Chloe's challenge storage earlier this year. I put these hooks on so I can hang them from the side for easy access when welding. And speaking of hooks, here are some bigger ones. I don't know why I lost the audio on this footage, but you don't need to hear the power tools. As you can see, this is for the angle grinder, so you can hang them from the hooks we put on earlier. And on the topic of hooks, this is the permanent storage for all the metal working tools, because when the welding bench is gone, you need somewhere else to put them. I used this old IKEA shelf as a tool bowl and put some hooks on so you can hang the angle grinder from it, and all the rest are in the toolbox on the floor. The welding rods are hung here on the radiator. Nice and tight. And here we are with the finished project. And you can see how pleased I am with it. It turned out really well. I hope this. Can you please just shut up? Okay, sorry. I just hush. I'll take it from here. Sorry. So here we have the final piece. Two big enough work surfaces in stainless steel so they're nice and fireproof with plenty of leg room underneath. This lip in the middle that some might think would be in the way is used to store vice grips as well as the earthing clamp. The wooden addition has this cutout in the side so you can put the electrode way away from the work surface. And you have this old children's bicycle basket to store gloves, hammers and that sort of thing. I keep my welding rods in these hexagonal tube so you can just hang them from the sides by the screws. On the sides we also have these hooks you can use to hang angle grinders from because remember this is Sweden there might be snow on the ground that's why the handbag welder also sits up here so it's nice and reachable but if there's a risk of rain or you're just afraid that it will fall down you can hang it from one of the support beams underneath but you can also use them without a tabletop for extra storage holding tools baskets and that sort of thing if you just want to use the super jaws as they are I hope this project has been useful for some of you I'm sure it will be useful for me Thank you so much for watching and have a nice whatever you're having.